Hello everyone, welcome back to Bike Geek. If you're using Windows 11 and notice that your Wi-Fi option has disappeared and no Wi-Fi icon showing on the taskbar, and even if you open Device Manager and expand Network Adapters, you won't see any wireless or Wi-Fi adapters there. If this is happening to you, watch this video till the end. I'll show you simple step-by-step -step fixes to bring your Wi-Fi back and get it working properly again. First, let's check if the issue is with your Wi-Fi hardware or just a problem with the drivers or settings. Go to the Windows search bar and type CMD. When command prompt appears in the results, right-click on it and select Run as Administrator. If prompted, click Yes to allow it. Once the command prompt window opens, type this command and press enter. If you receive replies, it means your Wi-Fi card is working properly and the issue is likely with the driver or system settings. Check the Wi-Fi button on your keyboard first. Some laptops or PCs have a physical Wi-Fi switch or a dedicated key that can accidentally be turned off. If that's the case, press the button again to re-enable the Wi-Fi. If that's not the issue, let's move on to the next step, which involves restarting some Wi-Fi related services. Right click on the Windows icon in the taskbar and select Run. In the Run box that opens, type services.msc and click OK. This will open the services window. To quickly find the service, press the W key on your keyboard to jump to the services starting with W. Look for WLAN Auto Config and double click it. Check the startup type. If it's not set to automatic, change it to automatic. Under service status, if the service is running, click stop, then click start to restart it. After that, click OK. Next, press the N key to jump to services starting with N and find network connections. Double click it, set the startup type to automatic. If it isn't already, then stop and start the service to restart it. Click apply and OK. Finally, Look for Network List Service, double click it, set the startup type to automatic, then click Apply and OK. Close the services window and now check if your Wi-Fi icon has returned. If your Wi-Fi still isn't showing up, don't worry. Let's move on to the next method using Device Manager to troubleshoot the issue. Right click on the Windows icon in the taskbar and select Device Manager from the menu. When the Device Manager window opens, expand the Network Adapter section. If you don't see any Wi-Fi or wireless adapter listed, go to the top menu and click on View, then select Show Hidden Devices. If the adapter appears after this step, that's great. If not, click on Action in the top menu, and then select Scan for Hardware Changes. This will refresh the page, and in many cases, your Wi-Fi adapter will reappear just like it did in my case. You should also notice the Wi-Fi icon return in the taskbar. If your wireless adapter is already visible but the Wi-Fi option is still missing, try updating the driver. Right click on your Wi-Fi adapter and choose update driver. Then select browse my computer for drivers and on the next screen, click. Let me pick from a list of available drivers. You may see one or more driver options. Try installing the first one and if that doesn't work, repeat the steps and select the second. Click Next and Windows will install the driver. Wait a moment until you see the message saying the driver has been successfully updated. Click Close and check if the Wi-Fi icon has returned in your taskbar. If the Wi-Fi is still missing, you can try reinstalling the adapter. Right click on the Wi-Fi adapter and choose Uninstall Device then confirm by clicking uninstall again. Don't worry, after you restart your PC, Windows will automatically reinstall the adapter. Once uninstalled, close the device manager window, click on the start menu, then click the power icon and choose restart. After your system reboots, check again to see if your Wi-Fi is back. If the previous methods didn't work, let's move on to the next step, resetting your wireless network settings. First, open the Windows search bar and type CMD. When command prompt appears in the results, right click on it and select Run as Administrator. If prompted, click Yes to allow it. Now you'll need to type a few commands to reset your network settings. These commands are also provided in the video description or you can follow along on screen. Type NetSH, WinSock, Reset and press Enter. 
Next type, net sh, int, ip reset, press enter again. Now type the final command, ip config, forward slash m, flush dns, and press enter once more. These commands will reset your network configuration back to default, and there's a high chance your Wi-Fi will return after this. Once done, close the command prompt and restart your PC. After restarting, check if the Wi-Fi icon has reappeared. If not, we'll do a full network reset through Windows settings. Click on the Start menu, then go to Settings. In the Settings window, click on Network and Internet, scroll down and select Advanced Network Settings. Under that, click on Network Reset. Then click the Reset Now button and confirm by clicking Yes. After resetting Windows, Network Setting, restart your system. Once your system reboots, check again for the Wi-Fi icon. After carefully following these steps, your Wi-Fi should most likely be back. That's it. These are some effective ways to fix the Wi-Fi missing issue in Windows. I hope this video helped you. If it did, please consider subscribing to the channel, liking the video and sharing it with your friends. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.